Charles Gomez said British military interests remain very influential in Gibraltar. I think the military interest will always prevail in Gibraltar, as it did in 1941 with evacuation, as it did in, as it's done on many occasions. And ultimately, it's up to the British government to refuse to enter into a treaty. So it's as simple as that, and there's no appeal to, to anybody uh, that, that I can see. Um, so, so that would be the end of the matter. But as I say, it would be decent for the Minister of Defence to say uh, that, uh, that they have no objection to Gibraltar being in Schengen. He said he didn't know whether Schengen controls at the airfield and the port would interfere with the promotion of those military interests. Interests which he said had received a great deal of weight recently, given the drums of war are banging louder not just in Ukraine and Israel, but also in the Red Sea, the Baltic and the South China Sea. There is certainly a space for calm uh, uh, discussion, uh, calm investigation and an avoidance of the the hubris, which is often uh, uh, and growingly uh, so related to to day to day politics, there is um, perhaps uh, a misunderstanding to the effect that the Gibraltar government, for example, is uh, headed by by the chief minister uh, uh, from time to time. Whoever's the chief minister at any given time, that's not the case. Uh, since the uh, always and also in the latest constitution, it is the governor who is the head of the Gibraltar government. Against this backdrop, Mr. Gomez underscored the governor's reserved legislative powers. There are reserved powers, but the reserved powers are, are massive. I mean, in terms of uh, uh, they they dot the constitution. They're they're in at least three places. So it's a uh, uh, there was obviously great concern among the uh, UK. Uh, uh, legal draftsman in 2005-2006 to ensure that it was very clear. I, I, I don't want to be frivolous, of course, but essentially one might be forgiven for saying, well, I'm giving you all these powers, but then again, I'm not. At any moment in time, I can, I can uh, legislate, I can take executive action. Mr. Gomez was speaking to master's students reading international law and international affairs at the University of Cadiz. After the lecture, Mr. Gomez was asked in the event that Gibraltar's civilian interests were to clash with its military interests, who could Gibraltar turn to for help? The United Nations? Mr. Gomez said he did not think the UN, or indeed any other international body, could be appealed to in such a situation.